Welcome back to the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by AG Heinz Company. Drainage, waterproofing, synthetic stucco, more and more and more. Cutting edge building materials from all across the country come right here to Knoxville at AG Heinz Company. This is where you need to go if you are focusing on a home improvement project. These are the people who can help you get it done stronger, safer, and more energy efficient. More cost efficient too. AG Heinz Company, located right in downtown Knoxville, just as they've always been. Same building for more than 100 years. That's all you need to say. That's a good company. AG Heinz Company. All right. Olivier Camois is in the portal. He can always turn around and come back, as we discussed. That leaves Santiago, Santiago Vescovi, Oros Plavsic, and Josiah Jordan James as seniors still deciding whether to leave or return for a bonus COVID season. Tyreek Key is senior, but he doesn't have the COVID year. Let's take a look. I've got some numbers put together. With all five seniors gone, if you know, Kamwa's gone, Vescovi, uh, Vesca, I should say, Plavsic, uh, the whole list, if all the seniors are gone, you're losing 53% of your total minutes, 71% of your made three-pointers, 58% of your total points, 46.6% of your total rebounds, 47.7% of your total assists, 47.8% of your total steals. You add Phillips to that. If he surprises us and goes pro, the numbers get even worse. Fellas, that's a lot of production to replace. I think if I'm Rick Barnes, <laughs> I am talking to Mr. Vescovi and Plavsic and Josiah Jordan James and saying, you know, another year? I think it's a good team. Let's get together. I, I, that's too much to replace in one year, in my view. That's a, that's a whole lot of portal work the, if you don't get those guys, at least some of those guys, to stay. To me, the most important one clearly is Vescovi. Yeah. And I like Josiah Jordan James, but he also is inconsistent. I'm not sure he's the same player he was before he got all these injuries. So I think Vescovi's your most important player. He can shoot. He can. He's a pretty good defensive player. He's one of the SEC leaders in steals. Run he can play point guard if you yeah. need him. Yeah. So I, I think he is the most important. Now, can he work out an NIL deal? We hadn't touched on the fact that Hit this. if you're a foreign player, you're not allowed to take NIL money unless your team, oh, let's say you're Kentucky and you go to the Bahamas and Oscar Sheboy makes six appearances and he makes $250,000. That's how you can get foreign players NIL money. Otherwise, the money they derive has to go to charity. Right. So what can Tennessee do? I, I kidded somebody the other day. I said, well, if I see Tennessee playing exhibition games in Uruguay and Finland, then I'm going to be yeah. <laughs> curious. But that's what you have to do to get them some money. And, and I don't know what Tennessee's schedule looks like in the future, but that would be a key with Vescovy. I don't think he comes back unless there's some way to get him some NIL money. I think I think of of those he's the least likely to come back because what you I think he's also the most likely to make a pretty good chunk of money in the international yeah. game. Agreed. So I would I would think it's highly doubtful that he comes back. If you're James and you're Plossic, I I I think there's a 50-50 chance that both of those could come back. Because I don't know a lot of those guys make their money internationally. Of course, don't know what's out there for him, but I would think that those guys. I would say a little bit more fifty-fifty. I would say Vescovy highly unlikely. I, I would agree, and I think that's like Jimmy. I think that's the one that you want to come back the most if you're Tennessee because the three point is your best shooter. Yeah, the, the three point uh, production is the hardest to replace, in part because and we'll touch on this later. Rick Barnes has not shown an ability to go into the transfer portal and get big time three point shooters that can make instant impact. So I think you want Vescovy back if you can get him. Um, yeah, I agree. You don't want all three to leave ideally, but I think some fresh blood at the same time, not the worst yeah. thing. And they've got some young guys who are ready to step into larger roles, I think. I wonder, I, he's shown he can go get a three-pointer, a three-point shooter, if he lets him play. Right. See, we, we did this last week where we showed Justin Powell. Mm -hmm. uh, now, he right. only played 10 games at Auburn, but he got more minutes, scored more points, and shot better from, from three-point land. He comes here, his minutes are low, so he doesn't shoot well, doesn't score much. He goes to Washington State. Gets more minutes, what happens? Oh, yeah, his shooting percentage goes up and he scores more. So part of it will be, I, I just wonder if Rick Barnes goes and gets a tremendous score. So if we're going, wow, they bring in a guy scored 25 points, if that guy's going to come here and not play defense, he's not going to be out there. Tyreek Key. So I, I just, and the list goes on, which I tell you what, let's just carry this over to the next segment. We'll put up the list of the transfers who've come in under Rick Barnes, and we'll talk about how important it is this year find the right guys. Come on back on the Sports Source. 